Have you ever noticed a pro photographer at an event and they seem to have their flash gun pointing in the wrong direction? I mean, do they even know it? Did somebody sneak in at some point and twist it round without them noticing? I mean, why do flash guns have heads that swivel anyway? The thing being photographed is in front of the lens, right? It doesn't make any sense. Well, actually, it does. It makes perfect sense. And here's why. The photographer is using bounce flash. When your hot shoe mounted flash gun points straight at the subject, it produces a really harsh bright light. And that's because the source of the light is really small. It'll give hard shadows and hard reflections. If you're using a TTL flash, that stands for through the lens. It means that the camera's onboard electronics are measuring the light from the subject and telling the flash gun how much power to pump out. If you're using TTL, chances are the flash will light the subject with quite a bit of flash, quite a lot of oomph. And that means once the camera stops down the aperture to compensate, the background's gonna go quite dark too. Well, one way around both of these problems is to use bounce flash. The more the light source is spread out, the softer the light's gonna be. So if you choose a room with white ceilings or near white ceilings and maybe walls, you can point the flash gun up towards the ceiling or towards the walls behind you and effectively turn those walls into a giant soft box for softer, more flattering light. And the light scattered around the room too. So the subject won't be overlit because some of the light is lighting the background. But what if there are no white walls? What about if there were no ceilings? Maybe you're in a hotel lobby and the walls are deep blue and you can't bounce any flash off of them. Well, there are a couple of workarounds. Firstly, your flash gun is often going to have a little pull-out bit here. A little pull-out bit of plastic. And this is so you can point the flash gun up and that little plastic will soften the light. The flash will go up and it will soften the light going forwards. Or you can make your own bounce flash accessory. Get a piece of white card and cut it into a fan shape, something like this. Then just get an elastic band, stick it around the flash. And hey, presto, one of the best social event photographers I ever met used his own bounce flash reflector like this. And it worked really well. If I've got one of those low light scenarios, I tend to use a Gary Fong light sphere. Now I'm not paid by them and I've bought my own. They're about 50 quid last time I looked. It fits over the head of your flash gun. You point your flash gun upwards and the inverted white dome scatters the light in all different directions. So it simulates bouncing off a ceiling, I suppose. Give bounce flash a go. I think you'll find the softer light that you get when you're photographing people is fantastic. You'll never go back to direct flash again. <laughs>